guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I am here today with a fun tutorial. Now, I know a long, long, long time ago, three years ago, when I first started this um, drawing channel, I made a tutorial on this character, Dory is getting her own movie from Pixar called Finding Dory and it looks really awesome! I'm so excited. I always get to look forward to all the Pixar um, summer movies. Now if you go way, 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 way back in, like in my videos, you see that I actually taught you how to draw Dory like the actual Pixar 3D animation Dory. So these coloring pages that I found on Pinterest of Finding Nemo are super cute and I love the way that they did Dory. Plus it's a little bit easier, so. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and make a line kind of like this. You wanna kind of keep it straight, but at the same time you wanna round it off. And of course we're gonna go up. like this, nice and curved upward, and then we're gonna jump up here. Now, all the way up here, you're gonna make a line. And on this line, what you're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and make a nice, big, round circle here. Now, after this round circle, what you're gonna do before we draw the other eye, we're just gonna bring this outward. See how it's kind of curved outward? And then it's gonna be straight and down. Then what you're gonna do is, I'm gonna jump right here. And we're gonna go upward. Like this, so you want it to be a really sharp upward. So it's really, it's, it's like a huge, just go whoo, right up, like a firework. <laughs> Anyways, then after that, what I wanna do is, I'm gonna jump right underneath it, right up here, jump underneath it. Go underneath this part of the line. And then bring that inward. So if we get rid of the guidelines, now what I wanna do is I'm gonna jump on this side right here. I'm gonna bring that other eyeball. See how it's just a little bit lower than this one over here. So we have this low eyeball and bring it in just a little bit closer. I went a little too far out so I go ahead and erase this part. Then on top right here I'm gonna go up. So you see how I'm going off to the side of the eye. I'm going to go up down and right back into the eye right here. And then of course back here I'm gonna come down and make that that shape as well building off this side of the eye. Now if I go ahead and erase this, all right so then I'm gonna jump inside and give a pupil right here and another pupil as well. give a little bit of a shine and I'm gonna color in the pupil. Another little shine right here and color in this pupil. Then what I'm gonna do is from right back here behind the eyebrow, I'm gonna bring this down. And then I'm gonna jump on top of right here. I'm gonna mirror, I'm just gonna build up and bring this down. And there's her top fin. And then from right here, from the bottom of the fin right here, I'm going to go up. up like this. 
Now from underneath right here, it's gonna go outwards like this, kind of like what we did right here. And then it's gonna go into her body. Now we have to make the line that separates her body from her, t her fin. So I'm gonna jump right back here from this part of her fin and go inward and up. So that's, this is the line of her blue body and this is her tail. Like this. So now, most importantly, for this fin and top, bottom fin, top fin and bottom fin, you divide them up into sections. Now I'm gonna go in right here and give this little bit of a line. Then from this part right here where we started to make this line, we're gonna go ahead and keep that beginning part. We're gonna go inward. Bring this curved inward. Out. go right into her tail fin. And then I'm just going to draw a circle like this, like it's a teardrop. Then what I want to do is from right back behind this line right here, that's why we drew it for right now, I'm going to make a little bit of a circle like this. And then I'm going to bring this all the way out past her body. I'll go right and mirror that line, but as I'm mirroring it, I'm bringing it down just a bit. And then I'm going to go underneath that. And then I'm going to erase everything that's in that rectangle shape. Then of course inside this rectangle shape, I would divide the ends up into pieces. Now to piece it a little bit more together, from back here, I'm going to curve upward. So I have a little bit of a mark right here. So after this part, that means this part is all black, this is yellow, and this is yellow. But we're gonna go to the fin, and we're gonna divide it up into pieces like we did her one fin up here. Now I'm gonna jump off to the side right, right building off of her bottom chin. I'm gonna go out this way, bring it in, bring it in, and then back into her mouth. And it's her other fin matching this fin. And that, of course, means I'm gonna break off the bottom. Just like that. And then, of course, Dory has freckles. So I'm gonna give her a couple of little freckles on top of her nose. There we go. Of course, what I want, now that we're done with our coloring book page, you can go ahead and color her. I'm just going to roughly color where her markings are. I said this was yellow. It's not yellow. It's blue. I was wrong. This is black. Her tail fin up here is blue as well as down here. Then her her fins are yellow. So this is yellow and this is yellow. Or blue. Blue. And there we go. There is a fun, easy way to draw Dory from Finding Dory. So just in case my old tutorial is really, really old, and this one is just a little bit more up to date, plus I thought it'd be fun to do this one because it's fun and easy and everyone can do it. 
and that way it gives you something to color to because technically it's a coloring page. I like drawing coloring book pages more than I draw concept art from movies just because I feel like it's a good practice and plus it's good practice to color. So I really hope you guys will give this a try and go see Finding Dory. I cannot wait. And yeah guys, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. I will see you all later. Bye! Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by Dramatic Parrot today. Make sure you click on that subscribe button. And hey, if you liked this video today, make sure you hit that like button as well. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all the fun stuff. And like my Facebook page. And if you haven't seen it already, I have started a vloggity vlog vlog channel on Wonderland Girl. So make sure you go ahead and check that out and subscribe to that channel as well. Other than that, I will see you all later. Bye!